going on guys it is your boy by 2k and today man we completed the andre iguodala spotlight challenges to get this rick barry finally i mean it's been like eight and a half hours of grinding straight we started a twitch stream at noon and i ended the stream at around six o'clock and i just finished and it is 8 40 so yeah you know eight hours 40 minutes worth of grinding very long time i didn't even stop i didn't have to replay any games it was just a straight grind through of playing this but i wanted to do this as quick as i can so i can bring you guys this video kind of give you guys tips on anything that you guys need so in this video we're going to be covering how to get points with him i wrote it down just so i can keep this as organized as possible i'm going to be covering how to get points with him steals a triple double the defense ones we kind of have to like hold opponents under scoring and then the one we actually have the threes i'm just going to cover that just in case you know people do struggle with it a little bit um but yeah, all of it's going to be completely organized. There's going to be timestamps in the comment section down below. It's going to be the top pinned comment. You guys showed an amazing amount of support on the Blake Griffin one that I did make of this. So do me a favor. If this video helps you guys out, hit that like button. You guys almost hit a thousand likes on that video and I didn't even ask for anything. So I'm not going to ask for anything again. All I'm going to ask is if this video does help you guys out, you do leave a like on the video, which would be greatly appreciated. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new and uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. Before we actually do get into it real quick, um, I know a lot of you guys are going to ask probably the same things. One, you don't need Allen Iverson. You need the whole collection that is on the screen right here. All of these players and you are chilling. You don't need Allen Iverson. That is the only player you don't need. You need everybody else but AI. The playbook I'm going to be using is the Nets playbook. Now, I talked about this in the last one and the price of this playbook shot up. So if you guys don't have this and you, you, know, you look at it and you see that it's 10K, pick up the playbook believe me it is worth picking up you can't get through these challenges without this playbook so make sure that you guys do pick this up regardless of what the price of the playbook is and then also i did use nick nurse throughout this whole entire thing the main thing i'm going to tell you guys is if you guys can use nick nurse use him if you're going to use an amethyst coach dn tony or terry stotts is the best amethyst coaches and then finally um if you're like really on a budget Steve Clifford is the best coach to use for these challenges to help boost in certain situations. So again, if you're a budget baller, Steve Clifford, if you have a little bit of extra MT, Terry Stotts, Mike D'Antoni, and then if you're balling out, Nick Nurse, Steve Kerr. In challenges two, four, and five, you guys do need to score a specific amount of points. You need to score 32 here, you gotta score 30 here, and then you only have to score 20 right here. So I'm gonna hop into the one that's the most, the 32 one. You are going up against um, the Portland Trailblazers team, which is very easy. So I'm going to hop right into the challenge and show you guys how to get the points. Again, this applies for two, four, and five. Now, when you do get in the game, you're going to pause this right away. This is what I talked about last time. You're going to go ahead to the offensive settings and play selection. You're going to clear everything out. And by clearing these out, you're going to hit click square if you're on PS4 or X if you're on Xbox. Now, it doesn't matter where you put this. My preference is, like I said, I always go down to the fourth one. It's just a force of habit. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, you're going to actually go ahead and scroll down to quick through STS. This play is the best play in this game for a lot of these challenges. So you're going to go ahead and click that. Um, and then you're going to have to assign it to Iggy. A lot of people had questions last time. Um, so again, what you're going to do is you're going to click triangle if you're on PS4 or Y if you're on Xbox. You're going to scroll over to Iggy. Iggy is the best player to do this with. And you're going to click right on him. You're going to click on Iggy. You're going to hit quick through STS just to make sure it's assigned to him. That is it. That's all you need to do. There's no other settings that matter. Nothing else needs to be changed or anything like that. So when you get into this game, assigning the play to Iggy is the only thing you have to do. Now, all right. So when you guys get into the game here, like I said, you're going to go to quick through STS. Now, when you do this, no matter who has the ball in their hands, it should go right to Iggy. And when you do this, Iggy's going to get a wide open cut right to the rim for an easy dunk. You guys can see you guys can do this over and over and over again, and it will always result in a open dunk. Now, there obviously will be times where the computer will, for some reason, catch on to it and, you know, it happens. You know, it's not going to work every time. I know it just said, like, oh, you're going to get an open dunk every time. Like, you guys will see, sometimes, you know, like, Brandon Roy will, like, go with him. Kind of like right there. It's no big deal. All you got to do is literally, like, okay, I don't know why it's doing that. But, yeah, all you got to do is set the play right back up. Again, stand in the circle, wait for them to pass it to Curry. I always pump fake because whenever I pump fake in that situation, it actually seems to pull the defender to you a little bit. So you actually are more wide open for the pass. So again, you guys can see, even if it doesn't work like right away, you just reset the play. It's as simple as that. 
So again, we're gonna set this right back up to Iggy. We're gonna call it again just to make sure it's you know the play is actually gonna work. We're gonna pump fake this here. Iggy's gonna get wide open and another easy dunk at the rim. Now you guys can continuously do this. Normally, what I do in this challenge is continuously run that play over and over and over again until I get the challenge done, and then I worry about beating the other team. Like you guys can see, it's that easy to get steals and stuff. It's not that hard. Um, in this challenge, obviously, it's a little bit different from the triple double challenge so again pump fake it iggy's gonna get wide open and an easy dunk so you guys can see getting points in iggy in these challenges which two three or two four and five which those are the ones that you need points with it's very simple very easy to do this is gonna be for the triple double challenge now i know this is what a lot of you guys are gonna be here for so the triple double challenge it's five minute quarters it's on rookie and you have to get a triple double with iggy now i know when a lot of people see this your head kind of goes either way. You know, you're either like, should I go for steals or should I go for rebounds? I did this with rebounds personally because it is very easy to actually do this with rebounds um, as long as the game lets you. You know what I'm saying? So when I say that, you guys will understand what I mean here. We're going to get into this challenge here. I'm going to kind of talk this over while we're loading into the game. Um, when you're in the game, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to set quick through STS to Iggy and that is really all you need to do as far as setting up the defense points is you can do exactly what I just showed you you assign the play to Iggy instead of um, doing what I'm gonna show you guys you can obviously pass it to him and he will get you know wide open for a dunk and stuff like that so that's how you get the points um, as far as the as far as the assists go assists are very easy to come by again you don't really need to stress it at all um, points are like i said very easy um to do i mean assists are very easy to do whether you're getting out on the fast break or whatever it is this is on rookie so again when you're running this play it's very simple to get assists um like outside of the play so you don't need to worry about that i would highly recommend focusing on the rebounds i finished this game had 16 points 11 rebounds and 10 assists setting this up what you guys are going to do like i said if you did this right iggy will you know the play will be assigned to iggy now right here you're going to wait for iggy to cut you're going to make sure you get a late release because when you do that the ball comes back to you, you guys can see right there iggy unfortunately didn't grab the rebound but that is going to happen you're not going to get the rebound every single time it's not like dwight when you're doing this method you want to make sure that you're getting like i said a late release when you get a late release the ball at nine times out of ten will bounce right back to you so again we're going to get a bounce back here the ball okay so i took you know i put barbosa in the game because curry apparently is just going to be splashing home everything so again you're going to give this ball to him and you're going to get a very nice late release like i did say and the ball is going to come back to you almost every single time that is like the best thing about it it's like nine times out of ten the ball will come back to you and that is really what helps out this challenge a lot is the ball is going right back to you again so we're going to get boxed out right there unfortunately but like i said it's a long game you have a while to do this if the uh if the rebounds aren't falling for you that way on the defensive end i just off ball with uh iggy and kind of uh, i'll just try to play good defense like right there we get a nice little rebound we have three already in the first quarter it's as simple as that you just kind of want to make sure that you're continuously just focusing on these boards again we're going to get a nice like, great, uh, late release easy rebound right there again and we're going to just set this back up again like literally i'm telling you guys you guys don't need to worry about them scoring or anything like that late release again ball's going to bounce right back to us we have five in the first quarter it's very simple it's i'm not gonna lie it's actually kind of triggering how easy this is going because before we barely got to that this part it's just literally about getting the bounce to go your way and stuff like that and the late release definitely helps out again points all you got to do is when you're running that play just actually pass him the ball it's as simple as that so you know once you get the rebounds done or you think you're in a comfortable spot like enough to get the rebounds just run the play you're gonna go over to the spot right here Barbosa, you know, wants to hurry up. You know, we're kind of on a yeah, time limit here. You know what I'm saying? Iggy's going to cut. Boom. Easy dunk. That's how you get the easy points. And then again, assist. You're just going to pass the ball, you know, and it's on rookie. So you're able to hit contested shots. You're able to green in people's faces. If you are struggling to get assists for whatever reason, just go ahead and assign the play to your point guard just by doing the same thing. You're going to go to offensive settings here. You're going to go to play selection. And then again, click assign. And instead of going to Iggy, you can assign it to, or not Rick Barry, excuse me, sign it to your point guard. So when you run the play again, it'll actually set it up through Iggy and you can get easy assist that way because Iggy will be the one passing the ball. So very simple. You guys could see five rebounds in the first quarter. If you just keep it up, you have a very long game to play to get it. It's very simple. Um, and yeah, so getting a triple double, you know, pretty, uh, pretty easy, you know, uh, you know, by some standards. I mean, it's, th it's still going to be annoying. But again, with the assist, just to show you guys this right here, if you just switch it up, it's an assist every time. 
So I think the next challenge is going to give a lot of people some problems is this five steals one. Now, I actually got this done with 33 seconds left in the game. Um, and I found I was just trying out different methods and a lot of them weren't working. But the best method I found out, like I'll obviously show you guys in a second, is really like like the most beneficial to me. Now, um, what you guys can do and a lot of people did tell me to do is when you take a look at his Evo, um, what you can actually do is if I could find... Uh, like I find him here um, when you evil him up he actually does get a plus 20 to his steal so I do recommend you know getting him to a Ruby if you guys are struggling with this challenge I didn't care I was just trying to get through it like that you know he already does come with clamps and he already does get um, like defensive lockdown as his takeover so you don't need to evil him up it just is recommended but I'm gonna show you guys the method that I did to get the steals so when you guys get into this challenge, the main thing you want to do is you don't even like need to worry about the quick through STS. You want to go over to the matchup screen and you're going to go ahead and put Iggy actually on Mike Bibby. Now, when you're doing that, what that's going to do is actually make Iggy defend the guy bringing up the ball. Now, again, this challenge is pretty easy. I think it's on rookie if I'm not mistaken. It could be like on all-star. Either way, it's still very easy to get these steals um, doing uh, like this method. So best thing to do is obviously you want to make sure that you're scoring so you guys could do the quick through STS method you know I don't care I'm not even gonna bother setting it up here so we score and you want to make sure you guys do score so they inbound the ball and it's like this so when Mike Bibby's dribbling down this ball you literally just want to wait till he's at the half court line kind of deal and just run up and just kind of not spam square because you will get fouls called on you a lot like right here we didn't get the steal so we're probably not going to um, if you guys don't get the steal Honestly, my best the best thing that I, I found that I was doing was just trying to bait like and use like the interceptor badge and um, Yeah, use that to my advantage. So Iggy's actually playing the two for me the last time I did this I actually had him at the three now Another thing you guys can do is actually put it in a zone Which when you put it in a two three zone He will actually be playing up a little bit more so again right here You're gonna just run up and kind of bump them a little bit try to get them steals Again, there is a reason why it took until the fourth quarter with 33 seconds left to get these steals. The steals are the most difficult part, I think, about this challenge. is just because, like, steals, there's no real efficient way of getting them. Steals is really just based off of whether the game wants you to get steals or not. That's We, we all know that's really just how it is. So, again, we're going to set this right back up. You know, we're going to wait here. They're going to aim at the Dwayne Wade. We're still going to try for it because right here, he's going to spin. We missed a steal again. We're still going to go for it, though, you know. We're still going to try to get these double team steals. They're going to kick it to Bibby soon. Yep, there it is. All right. Eat that screen right here. Like, they're perfect. We got a steal right there. Again, you want to just kind of maintain what you're doing here. Okay, that was my first shot ever with Rick Barry. At least it's a green, you know. It's on rookie, so I don't really know what that means. But, again, you kind of want to get them, you know, do, like, those random spins and whatnot. When they're in the paint like this, too, the best thing that you guys can do is actually kind of spam square when they're going up with it. Because we all know that you can get some dumb strip animations. And that really does help out as well. So, they're going to give it back to Mike Bibby here. Again, you're going to wait and you're going to just kind of run up, try to bump them a little bit, and just try to get them steals. It is difficult. It's not guaranteed to work. I'm, the steals part is the only thing that I am nervous about showing you guys. Because it doesn't work every single time. And people are going to expect it to. So you kind of just have to be patient and just kind of hope that you can get the steal. Like, honestly, it, it's annoying. It is. You can also go into a zone like I was talking about. I'm going to try that because when you're in a zone, what you can also do is use the interceptor badge like I was talking about and actually, you know, pick passes out of the air, stuff like that. Um, or, you know, like I said, I'll show you guys right here. Since we're in a zone, Iggy's going to be pressed up regardless. So what we can do is just attack whoever's inbounding the ball. We're not even going to get a bump animation right there. We do already have one steal, which is good. He's going to get a cut right down, right down the middle of the lane here. It is hard, like I did say, but this is the method that I did use. You probably, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, I make this video as a tip video to show you guys, you know, how I did it. There's no, you know, guaranteed method. Like, the points, the triple-double, all that sort of stuff, you know, that is just how I did it. Right here, again, we actually almost had that steal. If it gave me the bump steal, it would have been a little bit better. You kind of just have to bait zones as well. You know, kind of leave people open. Like, right there, we get the steal just with the wrong person. Um, this part's going to be a little bit longer because I am just trying to show you guys how efficient this could work. And, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Um, again, we're going to get some bumps right here, which is good. We could have had a steal right there. It's really like when you see them doing all those crossovers and stuff, that is the best part because that is how you do get the steals. It's just really just dependent on if it wants to give them to you or not. So, I'll try it one more time here. Curry's going to, yeah, Curry's going to be Curry, you know what I'm saying? Um, we'll try it one more time. They're going to inbound it to LeBron this time. 
Just kind of wait for that crossover. Perfect right there. We're going to get the steal. So there you go. You just kind of have to wait for that crossover. What a pass, dude. That was like on the money almost. You know what I'm saying? Final thing I'm going to show you guys is actually like the defensive challenges that you actually have to hold players under a certain amount or a team. Take a look at number 14. It is going to be Kawhi Leonard. You have to hold him under 30. This one, you have to hold LeBron over 20. This one, you have to win the game by 25 points. I'm going to throw this in here just because it's just kind of I'll explain how I did that. Um, and then this one, you have to hold your opponent, uh, your uh, like your opponents under 60 points. Now, I could break this down individually, but I'm just gonna kind of give you guys a base explanation of what I did for each challenge because there's really no way for me to show you. You guys just kind of have to know how to do it yourselves. Um, as simply put as that. Um, so for the Kawhi and the LeBron, I'm gonna get into this challenge. Let me rephrase that. I'm gonna get into this challenge and show you guys what I do. Um, but for the Kawhi and the lebron challenge now they're both on superstar so you kind of have to be careful with the shots you're taking if you set up the quick through sts play you'll be scoring every single possession down the floor so you do not have to worry about that however when you're doing this one just double team Kawhi every single time their team you guys could see they have tony parker danny green aldridge and bobon what i was doing was i was doubling and then i was pulling my center which was bogut off of bobon and just kind of you know making sure nobody was open for three double off of whoever like i said it doesn't matter who just make sure Kawhi is double teams whenever they touch the ball do not let them get or don't let them get open it's as simple as that with this lebron one same thing except the team is a little bit better what i found what that was working was i actually switched to a zone and just made sure like i hugged lebron the whole time lebron didn't get a single point until the third quarter and yeah his only points he hit a contested three in my face which was i remember 82 percent contested and then he hit a full court three so you know whatever it is what it is but it's very easy to shut him down that way just by making sure you're constantly like hogging him and in a zone the computer will play different it's okay to leave the other people open you know you just got to make sure that you're scoring same thing quick through sts will prevent you from missing you know easy shots um with this beating houston one by 25 it's actually a lot easier than you think it is um so you only are required to use curry iggy and draymond i put dominique wilkins and d rob in this game i highly recommend using other players that are faster and just better at defense than like some of the players in the lineup um and it's very easy i beat them by 60 same thing run quick through sts every single play it doesn't even matter who you're running it through boost an evo through this challenge if you have to it doesn't matter just win the game um and then with this one i'm going to show you guys what to do you guys need the whole entire team i will show you guys again how i beat this so easily they scored 32 points i think and it's because in the fourth they scored 12 points and they also hit two full court threes on me so it's very easy to shut them down i'll show you guys what to do right now all right so when you guys see this team i know you guys are going to get a little bugged out you know you guys are going to see harden durant lebron it's okay honestly it's a lot easier than it looks you guys need the obviously the full collection here and then you're allowed like one additional player because um this time there's actually like a short of players normally there's 13 players that you need um that's why everybody thought you needed ai but this one you know they actually let you use an additional player i think it's because some of these challenges are a little bit harder um so yeah you guys can feel free use an additional player i'm just gonna throw rick barry in here it's you know doesn't really matter too too much um you don't need to assign this to anybody it doesn't really matter i'm just gonna keep it on curry um and then yeah other than that the defensive settings all i did was put this on tight and tight just to kind of make sure that there's added defense um but other than that it's very simple the main thing you want to do with this game is just slow it down you don't want them to get out on fast breaks and you don't want them running and gunning all over you because if you do that you're gonna lose we're not really lose but you're gonna like you're most likely gonna fail the challenge because if they're doing that you know they have opals that are gonna uh they're gonna basically make sure that um you know they're scoring pretty easily and stuff like that so again we're gonna get curry wide open to start this off easy layup that's how you just score pretty easily you're gonna set this to no threes and then you're gonna want to set this to wall up outside of that you don't really need to do anything else um i always just sit here on bogut and help off of dwight because normally your team can play good enough defense he greened that that is the only reason why that went in of course um but yeah very simply put you know you just your team can play defense i highly recommend you know making sure your matchups are all good again easy layup you know offense you don't even need to stress anything on this team um one thing that i did do like i said is i would just try to bait this pass into dwight like i you know you do for a blocks challenge or something like that and just kind of make sure that dwight is the one that's open because dwight's the one that's gonna uh you know miss a lot of stuff we get kind of lucky right there with Harden missing that um but again we're just gonna go ahead and score pretty easily um 
Actually, I was thinking about this before that I meant to say right there too, is actually try to avoid, like once you get a sizable lead, you know, I would say like 10 points, don't take easy buckets, you know, run the whole entire shot clock down. The more time you kill in this game, the better. So right here, I could pass it up, but look, we're gonna slow this game down. Again, what I do is I really will wait until it's about 10 seconds and then I will call the play. I'll just hold the ball and then again, we'll call it a little bit early, like whatever. But again, we're gonna hold the ball. We're gonna do this. We're gonna run the play. He's gonna help down. We're gonna get Draymond wide open. And whether we hit that shot or not, we killed the whole shot clock and that's what you really wanna do. You wanna limit the time and the amount of possessions that they have because that'll limit the amount of points that they can score. So again, right here, Rick Barry's playing great defense. That's all we need. We're gonna help over. There we go, perfect. Dwight, whatever shot Dwight was about to take is what we want to see right there. LeBron's going to grab that. It's good defense. You can't really do anything about that. The computer is going to get bailed. You guys already know that's coming, but you guys can see. We're holding them to two points so far. LeBron's probably going to hit the second one here. Um, yeah, so three points, three, what, two minutes into the game, not too bad. They've had multiple possessions where we're just shutting them down. Again, we're just going to play it slow. I actually called the play too early, so you know what? I'm going to like let the play run out here. I'm not even going to do anything. We're going to just protect dribble, and we're going to call the play again. It's going to set up. I actually took multiple shot clock violations towards the end of the game just so I can make sure that I was killing the time and not giving them long rebounds. That would transition into points. Um, but again, so I'll show you guys again. You know, I'm just going to run back with Bogut. We want them making that pass to Dwight because right here, Dwight's taking a pull up in my face, and they're going to let him make that. Okay, obviously, he wasn't making this up the first time. You know, you guys know how to. Every time I record this video or a video like this, they're like, oh, check this shit out. Um, again, I was on me. Called the play way too early. You don't have to throw that pass either just because it's open. We're going to set this right back up here at 10 seconds. We're going to run this down. Iggy, wide open dunk. Simply put, again, just run very slowly. Do not try to push the tempo. Pushing the tempo is going to do nothing other than give them more possessions. If you're struggling to score, I do recommend maybe slowing it down a little bit. But again, we're going to get a good stop right there. We're not going to push this out. We're going to just slow it down. You know, we're not in any rush. We, you know, you're going to have to sit through the time of this game regardless. So you just really have to limit them under 15 points per quarter and you will be okay. So very simply put, again, just slow it down. Let the play run out. Five seconds left. We're scoring with three seconds left on the timer right there. And again, they have five points three minutes into this game. We're definitely doing a good job. You know, you just got to keep it going. Make sure they don't score. They're going to call a timeout. You guys kind of get the gist of it though of how to like slow the game down and make sure they're not scoring so that'll do it for this video guys this is the final team like i said i used this exact team the whole entire time obviously mine is rick barry i had iggy at the three and then drew holiday starting that was literally it i didn't evo anybody else extra you guys could see this is the exact team that i ran i just mainly ran everything through curry and draymond like you're supposed to um and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy smash that like button if this video did help you guys out um also at the same time um i wanted to say too um be sure to actually check out the description of the video there's actually two codes that you guys can use there's a sponsorship code for mt and then there's also a uh, SeatGeek code which um you guys can use you use code bio 2 k at SeatGeek, and you guys get 20 dollars off any purchase like your first purchase you get 20 dollars off of anything so be sure to go check that out thank you guys so much for watching again i hope you guys did enjoy subscribe if you guys are new and with that being said i will see you in the next video